Welcome to London, Mr. Dembski. I'm mighty glad to be here. It's a little chilly to what I have been accustomed to. It has gone a little cold, hasn't it? Never mind. It'll warm up perhaps tomorrow. Now, you've just flown in from Australia as part of your world tour lecturing on flying saucers. You claim to have spoken to people from Venus and your recent book, Inside the Spaceships, you, you say you've made a journey. Now, are these facts correct? Uh, they are correct. They're facts, and they'll stand as facts for a long time, I believe. Now, a great many people believe in the existence of flying saucers, but few, if any, have had the experiences that you've had. Now, can you tell me, where did you first meet a man? Well, uh, in, uh, out in the desert, Mojave Desert, uh, 1952, on November the 28th. And you've met him since? I've met him since, and I'll go a little further. I've also flown around the moon. Have you really? Yes. Now, that brings me to a point in your recent book. You say you've been inside one of these flying saucers. And you correct. How did you... How did that come about? Well, uh, what do you mean, how, how did that come about? Uh, well, how were you invited to? Oh, well, on the second contact that I've made, I was invited to take a ride with him. I went in, and it uh, was no different than taking a ride down the plane that I just came in. In your book, I see some very remarkable photographs. How did you take those? There's one in particular of a fine Well, uh, the reason why they may be remarkable, as you say, because they're all taken through a telescope. With a camera directly, you could not get a picture that sharp. But with a telescope, that's why an astronomer uses telescopes to get good pictures of the stars at a great distance. Now, can you give me details about these people? What are they like? Well, they're very much like ourselves, after all. Uh, why should they be any different? We assume that we are the images of a creator, and why should the creator be a freak somewhere else? And they are like us in every respect, are they? Absolutely, except a little further advanced in many ways. Now, why is it that they won't normally land here? Well, they have landed uh, many, many times. I have on record right now two, 2,500 uh, cases where contacts have been made and uh, quite a number of landings where people had the experiences I have had, except they didn't stick their neck out as I did. And I wouldn't have done it either had the press not put me out there first. What did you say, Mr. Damsky, is the purpose of their visit to, to Earth? Well, it's mere, purely scientific, I would say. It has been put on the other side, but it's true scientific. You see, we have the geophysical year been extended for another 18 months, all because the Earth is shifting. And, of course, they're observing the same thing as we are observing. And uh, according to the information, recent information of the 18 months uh, uh, research on that, the Earth has made a slight change already. Mm. And they're interested in that since it's part of the same system. Now, why have they chosen you as, shall we say, contact man? They haven't really chosen me. I think it was an accident. I haven't been in the right place at the right spot. That's all the right time. But uh, they have chosen others since. They have chosen me and some even before myself. Have you any tangible evidence to show us of the well, existence of Well, uh, uh, yes, I have to a small degree, and that is uh, I had uh, given Mr. Desmond down here, Leslie Desmond, some mineral, and he had it analyzed. And incidentally, he didn't know this, but I have it analyzed since then at the Air Research in Phoenix, Arizona, and it came out the same way. I have even home a, uh, a um, what they call a microwave film on it. Mm -hmm. Where did you get it? From one of the flying saucers? Yes, and there's two elements in there that are not found on Earth, according to the analysis of both cases. Now, um, do you think we shall see more of people from other planets in the future? Well, I think so. Uh, if the records who will follow us, they have been going because in Adelaide, uh, 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 Australia, I lectured down there and I, we saw four flying saucers right after the lecture that a whole group of people did. And they asked me, why don't they land here? I said, they might after I leave on the, on the 13th day of March, big landing took place right there. So they could be happening. Would you say the influences are going to be good or evil? The influences are very good. Very good. When do you think you'll meet them again? Oh, when will I meet them? That's hard to say. You never can tell. Well, now, one last question I'd like to put to you, Mr. Adamski. 
Uh, I'm a radio reporter. I would like to meet them to interview them. Could you ever arrange that for me, do you think? I wish I could, but uh, that'll be a lot up to them whether they want such an interview or not. If they do, I surely would. You'll let me know, will you? I would do that uh, right now.